Let's talk about equation balancing. So right off the bat, we need to talk about one of my favorite things on the planet, and that is a s'mores. S'mores could possibly be nature's perfect food. It's a marshmallow, it's a chocolate, it's a graham cracker. It just doesn't get better, okay? So here's the thing though. When you go to make s'mores, you do it at the microwave or you do it at a campfire, whatever. But when you go to make a s'mores, you always wind up with like extra crackers or extra marshmallows or extra chocolate. You're gonna run out of something before you run out of everything. And so what happens is you got all these leftover things. Like who wants to sit around just eating a graham cracker? That ain't no fun. So I've got these waste graham crackers laying around or I got waste marshmallows. Uh, there's never waste chocolate we don't on top of that one. But you know, there's, there's waste product. And the goal is this, I don't want waste product. I don't want things to just sit around and go bad. I don't want those graham crackers to sit around stale. And then like next time I get to use them, I go to put them on there and they just taste like crap because they sat in the, in the camper for two days too long. Now, people always ask, how does this apply to my life? Why do I got to learn this stuff for life? Why does it matter for life? Okay, the s'mores thing is a little bit of a ridiculous example, but in your life, you're going to be working for a company at some point, and their company is going to be wanting to produce a product. Now, when you go to produce a product, you have to buy a material, you assemble a material, and you put the material to work. It doesn't matter if you're going from straight up block steel to make something, or if you buy like pieces of things that you assemble. You're gonna buy one thing, and you're gonna make it into another thing, and you're gonna sell that thing. That's company work, that's what you do, okay? Um, now, when it comes to balancing out stuff like that, you don't want to have extra waste product because extra waste product means loss to your company, it means you're losing money. You want things to all be there, okay? You want everything with it together, right? Um, the problem is though, you buy these packages, like say the graham crackers, well, they came in packs of two, uh, graham crackers come in these big packs of like 200 or whatever. I, mean, I don't know how many graham crackers there are, there's a bunch of them. Marshmallows come in some number of packs, Chocolate comes into some number of packs. So everything comes in these numbers of packs. I have to figure out how to make that ratio work out. I don't want waste product. I don't want extra graham crackers. I don't want extra marshmallows. I don't want extra chocolate. Okay, I want everything to balance. So I use it all up at the same time and I'm not left wanting. The law of conservation of mass, okay? Now the law of conservation of mass is the principle that total mass of any isolated system is constant and independent of any chemical uh, I hate that definition. Every now and then scientists, all the time, uh, they give these really long definitions to things that are a whole lot more simple. The law of conservation of mass says, matter cannot be created or destroyed. That's it. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. Um, whatever you start with, whatever amount of matter you start with has to still be there at the end of the reaction. Think about it like this. Um, um, Colin, I'm gonna use you for an example. Wave your hand, Colin, so everybody knows who you are. All right, Colin, I have a question for you. How many of you are there? One. There's one of you, okay. So we can all agree that there is one Colin, right? How about if we take a chainsaw? And we cut Colin in half. How many Collins are there? What do y'all think? Tell me in the chat, what do you think? We cut Colin in half, how many Collins are there? See, I knew somebody was gonna say none, but that's not right. There's still Colin, he's still the same Colin, he's just, he's in two pieces now, okay? How about if Colin exploded all over his room? Those white walls behind him just covered in Colin, right? Boom. How many Colins do we have then? Yeah, one, but multiple pieces. See, there you go. Colin, here's the good news for you. You, you, Colin, cannot be created or destroyed. You are Colin. No matter what we do to you, you're still Colin. All y'all, remember that, that's a life lesson, by the way. You cannot be created or destroyed. You are what you are, 
All right. When the earth goes away, whatever made you up still exists. So you are here for the rest of the universe, just in different forms. Neat, huh? So here's the way this works. We cannot be created or destroyed. Nothing can be created or destroyed. Can it be rearranged? Yeah, we did that. We rearranged Colin all over the bedroom there. Blew him up. All right. Still the same amount. Uh, if you set a piece of paper on fire and you wind up with nothing but ash at the bottom, right? Some of that goes up in smoke. Some of it becomes ash at the bottom. That smoke kind of disappears into the atmosphere, but it's still there, right? So I didn't get rid of that paper. It's still there. It's just in a new shape, a new form. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. Y'all give me a, y'all tell me what you think. What do y'all got? All right. So the simplest terms, matter can't be created or destroyed. That's the basic idea. All right. That's a deleted response. Law of conservation is a matter of something. More than something. Come back to you. No matter what you do, the substance is still the same. Paper torn is still paper. Okay. Okay. Matter can't be destroyed or created. Destroyed, created, destroyed, created, destroyed. A lot of created or destroyed. Mass is really important. Cannot be created or destroyed. Yeah. No matter what changes happen, the amount you start with remains the same. That's beautiful. I love that one. Matter cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be rearranged in all caps. Can't be created or destroyed. Do, 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 do. All right. I think we got the hang of this. Okay. One person didn't answer there. Who was it? All right. <laughs> Let's talk about hot dogs. Let's talk about hot dogs. Everybody in here likes hot dogs. If you don't like hot dogs, that's fine. Pretend to do for a minute. I have a love-hate relationship with hot dogs. Um, let's talk about these. So when you have hot dogs, you have to have two things. What are the two things you have to have? Two required elements to make a hot dog. We need bun. There you go. Bun, wiener. Yeah. You put those two things together, you get a hot dog. Yeah, well, and on that, you can add other stuff, chili or whatever. Um, don't put ketchup on that because that's weird. Okay, don't want to be acting like some Yankee or something. But you got buns, you got wieners, you got a hot dog. Okay. Here's where the problem comes in. You see that pack of buns right there? How many is in it? Somebody tell me how many, how many can, can y'all see that? Oh, not six. Close. It's actually, no, there's eight. <laughs> they come in packs of eight. There's eight of them in that package. You see the hot dogs over there, the wieners, the sausages? How many, how many are there? Can y'all tell? Now, those things come in packs of 10. So here's where the problem comes in. I got eight and I got 10. So I went to the store. I wanted to make some hot dogs. This was last week. I wanted to make hot dogs. And I went to the store and I got buns and I got, and I got the sausages. And I went home and I started to make them and I realized I have a problem. The problem is I got two extra sausages. All right. I go back to the store, get another pack of buns, come back home. No problem. Big problem. Because I went and got more buns, but now I got like extra buns. So what am I going to do? I got extra buns. I can't deal with this. So I go back to the store. And I got some more sausages. Okay, my going. Now, on the, I, I had two sausages extra to start with. Now I've got four extra. This is not going good for me. I have problems here. I need to make hot dogs and I need for it to come out even. I can't, I can't, no, I can't. You don't give dogs people food. You gotta, you gotta give it people food goes to people. And so I had to go back to the store. I got some more buns. 
Now I've got eight, I've got four extra buns. And I can't waste this stuff. So what do I do? Back to the store. I get some more sausages. Now I've got six extra sausages. This is annoying. I'm getting aggravated here. This is this is really starting to tick me off. Because I've gone to the store. I've made one, two, three, four. I made five trips to the store so far. And I and I can't make hot dogs yet. So I go back to the store. <sighs> I've kind of gone into full-on like Karen mode at this point. I'm yelling at people about all kind of stuff because they I just want to make hot dogs and they can't make the hot dogs match. So, uh, and now I've got I got extra buns again. So I go back to the store and I get some more. Oh man, I had six extra. Now I've got eight extra. This is never going to work out. Until I make this last trip to the store, and then something magical happens there. What happened, everybody? Somebody tell me in the chat. What just happened? A magical thing. What happened right here? I am suddenly very happy. My goal. My goal was to do what? make hot dogs, to make an even amount of hot dogs, to make the right amount of hot dogs. Yeah, everything's gonna bounce out. Now, I can go make 40 hot dogs. Everything's perfect. I can go to the town. I can make hot dogs. I, I can make, I'm gonna make a lot of hot dogs. Oh Lord. I'm gonna make 40 hot dogs. What am I gonna do with 40 hot dogs? I can't freeze those things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to make some money and sell it. Yeah. What I need is like 39 more friends because I don't want to eat more than one. I mean, I personally don't really like hot dogs that much because of things like this. But yeah, I can make 40 hot dogs. So here's what happened. So like up there on the top, you see what it did about, I say the buns are with B. They come in packs of eight. How many How many packs of buns did I buy? Somebody tell me how many, how many buns did we buy here? The packages. Five of them, yeah, you got it. I bought five packs of buns. How many packs of the wieners, the sausages did I buy? Four. And so when I combined those things together, I made 40 hot dogs. Y'all know what I just did? I taught y'all how to balance a chemical equation. I just got through teaching y'all science. Ha, 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 ha. I taught you science and you didn't know it. Answer that question real quick. Did you? <laughs> try to Explain chemistry with hot dogs. So let's look at this again just for a second here. Look at that formula right there. Look at that the, the B and the H and the BH here. You see, when you go to balance an equation, you're going to get packages of things. You call them molecules, compounds. Whenever I get these things, they come in these packages, and I can't change what the package comes in. H2O always comes in H2Os. Um, CaCO2 always comes in CaCO2. You know, I can't change the package. I'm always going to get the exact same package. When I combine them, that's how they combine. They can't combine with an extra hot dog in there. They can't combine with an extra bun. That's how they work. So I needed to make these things balanced because that's the law of conservation of mass. I had to make everything on the left accounted for by everything on the right. The products equal the reactant. 